Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMech.com and today we're going to be taking a look at video conferencing applications. Now, we're not going to go into the applications and go over all of them simply because they're, most of them are straightforward. Uh, you add your contacts and then they accept your invitation and you invite to a video call. Uh, in that sense, many of the video conferencing applications are very straightforward. Uh, instead, we're going to be taking a look at some of the uh, different features they have and how they can help you or your business. Uh, so the first one we have is Skype. Uh, everyone pretty much knows what that is. It's one of the most common out there. Um, it has a free version uh, where you can uh, video call with another friend or colleague and so on. Um, it does have the option, the free version has the option to have up to 10 people on a video call but that does require at least one of those people to have the premium version of Skype. Uh, it lets you do a bunch of different things like send pictures and files and even share your screen for uh, demonstrations or presentations on the video call and so on. Uh, of course you have all the standard message, voice, and video call options too. Um, now 10 might not be enough for your business uh, so Skype does have other options and it's basically just called Skype business um, you can have up to 250 people in a video call with Skype business uh, however it does cost about two dollars per person so that can get quite pricey but it is a good option if you have a large business and need a bunch of people in a video call at once um, another option out there is called Hangouts on Air. Um, it's not the best option sim simply because it usually broadcasts um, your uh, video call to everyone on the web. Um, that is a bit of a downside, but if you are having a public presentation, that is a nice feature to have. However, um, Hangouts on Air does let you do a unlisted video call where you can in just invite certain people to watch or invite certain people on the Hangout, uh, and that's kind of nice. But as far as actual features go for Hangouts on Air, uh, it's very limited and might not help your business the way you want it to. Uh, the other option out there is called GoToMeeting, which is, I would say, the best option for professionals. Um, it has a ton of different features um, for really just about anything you need. Uh, as you can see, you've got the uh, different pricing packages here with the plus package having the most options here. Uh, for instance, there's a virtual whiteboard, uh, personal meeting room. You can record your video calls. Uh, there's a dial-in conference line. Uh, you can share your screen and so on. Obviously, the pro version has most of that as well. Um, depending on how many people you need, GoToMeeting is a lot cheaper. Because uh, as you can see, 100 participants is only going to cost you $50 a month. Whereas 100 participants on Skype is going to cost you a little over $200 a month. Because of that uh, $2 per user fee. Um... GoToMeeting also has a lot of uh, great customer service if you ever run into trouble. Uh, and so does Skype, but um, the nice thing about GoToMeeting is that it actually has a free 30-day trial that you can test out for your personal use or your business. Uh, um, I've tried it out before in the past, and it's actually a really solid application and is definitely worth taking for a spin. Uh, there's obviously plenty of more other video conferencing applications out there. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Skype, Hangouts on Air, and GoToMeeting are some of the best available, uh, even though Hangouts on Air doesn't have a whole lot of options, but it is uh, a bit more unique from um, uh, your standard conference application, as you can broadcast to the public, and so on. Uh, and that's all about the, all there is for our overview of uh, these video conferencing applications. Uh, we've got a much uh, more detailed article over on our website 
which you can get to from the link in the description below. And also don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more great videos. And I think that's about it. I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time.